Cool. So yeah, talking about experiments and keeping the wine fresh, I think the one that immediately stands out would of course be the El Guapo, the new <laughs> long board. So uh, much different than all the other boards in the lineup and a lot different than what anyone else is doing. Could you talk a little bit about how did that idea come about? How do you create a long board to ride behind the boat? I know it's a, it's a trip. Huh? It's yeah. Fun. We wrote it. It's a lot of fun. So, <laughs> so the thing about the Guapo, I mean, it's, it's a lot, it's a mini long board, so it can't, it, but it's a long board doesn't fit in the screen, <laughs> but you know, it's five foot two though, instead of nine up. And basically on what I did on Guapo is I took, I, I've got this magic long board. And I've loved it. And anybody that's ever got on it went has just said, wow. And I did made it with a friend years ago. We glassed it special. Basically, it was an experiment to just try to make the coolest longboard that we could make. And money wasn't any object because we were doing all the labor ourselves. And the guy I was working with is a guy, one of the guys that taught me to shape when I was a kid. I've had that board for years. It's almost falling apart by now. But I had all the data. And I had this idea like, wow, is, could that, is that translatable behind a boat? It seems weird to go from 9.0 to 5.2. But I just started playing, you know, the first ones didn't work at all. And then once we kind of tweaked the rocker and adjusted it, we just hit this magic spot where it was super fun to ride. It stayed in the wave, but it really stayed in the wave if you were in the wake, if you were either in the middle of the board you know because we've got eva all over the board <laughs> but you know if you're in the middle of the board or even if you're up here the board just keeps gliding because just like long boards designed to nose ride there's a big old concave pocket under the nose that acts to create lift but create lift in a very specific area and that's something that's not in any other wake surfer that we make because you know they're like performance short boards scaled down for performance long boards scaled down you can nose ride behind a boat but then you know at the other end we put this fin box and we allow you to you know you got a fin that you can move forward and aft so you're basically changing the turning radius of the board by yourself you know if you want to draw out your turns you push the fin back to the tail and your fit and your turn get drawn out if you want to have this thing be really loose i mean this see that fin can go all the way up to here and that gets your front gets your back foot you can actually get your back foot behind the fin so it allows you to do 360s it allows you to really loosen up the board and it was such a different feeling behind the boat than any of the other boards it, it needed to exist for its own reason it was a it was a different kind of fun and it put a smile on everybody's face. And uh, yeah, we we're like, this one, this one's a keeper too.